Hello, I am Erdan from Uvision. In this video I will introduce you some basic concepts that we should know before studying circuit theory. And if you are not familiar with the stuff, I recommend you to check a freshman level physics course or textbook to grasp the stuff because we will use these terms very frequently throughout the videos. In this video I will just state the definitions and some basic mathematical rel relations. I won't get into details. Alright, uh, let's start with the charge. It's the fundamental concert property of subatomic particles and measured in coulombs. Actually, in uh, capacitors you will see that in capacitor circuits, even though the energy is not conserved in the circuit, the charge is, the charge is conserved. So, conservation of charge is an important concept in circuit theory. Uh, we will uh, see it in detail in next videos. Current. Current is the time rate of flow of the net charge and SI on these amperes. So if you want to express this verbal definition in mathematics uh, it's written in here current is the time current is the time derivative of the charge. If you take this dt near the i of t and take the integral from minus infinity to a time t, what we get is the net charge. All right. So if you take the take the integral of the current from minus infinity to a time t, you get the net charge. In some questions, initial charge is given, and this initial charge includes the charge from minus infinity to a time t zero. In that case, you you find the net charge, uh, net charge of the component or whatever asked, to a time t with this with this formula. Q of t zero includes includes the initial charge and initial charge includes charge from minus infinity to a time t zero, and plus integral from t zero to t i of t dt. And this term includes charge from t0 to a time t. Alright. Voltage. Uh, voltage is the work requ required to move a unit positive charge from positive to negative. Alright. You may remember in freshman level phys physics, in some questions you, you have two parallel plates. Uh, one is charged with negative and the other charged with positive and you have a unit charge and voltage is is defined as the work required to move a unit positive charge from positive plate to negative plate all right and a SI unit of the voltage is volts the mathematical interpretation of the voltage is given as such and uh, w is the work uh, or energy all right and q is the charge Move, let's move on to the power. Uh, it's denoted by a W and measured in watts. It's the rate of change of energy. And here we can see the formula. Power is the time derivative of the energy. Actually, we can we can get this term by multiplying voltage. Notice that voltage is. Uh, charge derivative of the energy and if you multiply voltage with current all right if you multiply voltage with, with current we can also get power from that equation also so let me write it this is voltage actually and this is the current actually in this e equation if you take dt near the i of near the power and take the integral from t0 to t you can get energy of uh, of the component or whatever asked uh, you can get the energy cons consumed or delivered uh, in time interval t0 to t actually in uh, circuit some components um, supply power to the circuit and some some com some components consume power in the circuit 
and and power is power is conserved in a circuit. So to interpret this fact in mathematics, we we use passive sign convention. We use passive sign convention. Passive sign convention says that assume that this is our component and it has a voltage difference across its terminals and it's denoted by V. If current if current enters from its positive terminal and leaves from its minus terminal, the power of this component is defined to be V times I. And and if you multiply V by I, notice that I and V are um, absolute values, all right? They are positive. And if you if you multiply them, you get a uh, power with positive value. If the power of the component is positive, the component said to be a passive component. And resistors, capacitors, and inductors are examples of the passive components. The second part of the passive sign convention is that assume that uh, again this is your component, circuit component, and it has a voltage difference across itself uh, uh, denoted by V, but this time terminals are reversed and this time current enters from its minus terminal current enters from minus terminal of the component. In this case, power of the component is defined to be minus V times I. Again, voltage and current are all are all in absolute values. They are uh, positive. And if you multiply them, you get a positive value actually. And multiplication with a negative gives you a negative power value. When power of the component is negative, is less than zero, component said to be an active component. Batteries and generators are examples of active components. So passive sign is uh, important and throughout all videos I will use passive sign convention in ana analyzing circuits or when we try to find to ask information about the circuit, I will always use passive sign convention. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.